afternoon guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. Um, well, I've got a small Tony's and small Caputo's haul to share with you guys for today. Um, I guess Tony's wasn't super small, but there just wasn't a lot that was going on. Um, and so there was only like three different deals, although there was, had to get a couple of one of the things. Anyways, I'll share with you guys that in a second. But me and my mom ended up running to Walmart this morning. We needed to get a couple things like for Easter and also too, I wanted to get those totes, um, that I need to finish my aunt's pictures. I probably won't have them completely finished by Easter but ideally I'd like to have like maybe just have one last little section that I have to finish or something like that so I can at least tell her that and then hopefully again to tell her that I can possibly bring them by at some point soon um and return them all to her after they're done but um I did end up all I told you guys you two yesterday I finished all the 90s photos and those I have all in the totes right now and they actually fit very well so that's awesome and like I said everything is you know looks like it will probably work out I also don't know how many exactly I need I got six they're not huge they're just like the smaller sized ones not like the shoebox size but a little bit bigger than the shoebox sized ones but they all seem like that they should fit um fairly well the really big sized envelopes don't fit perfectly but they should be okay like they're not like I can kind of bend them a little bit over because there's no photos like all the way in the whole thing if that makes sense so they fit somewhat well um but anyway so again those everything looks like though it should fit fairly well and should work out but like I said I don't know exactly how many I need I do have six right now but in reality I might need maybe a few more um but she had like boxes and boxes and boxes of photos that she ended up giving me so I've organize them down to the point where they're condensed a little bit better um again too instead of all like different size like cardboard boxes and some of them were just in like brown paper bags and that kind of stuff so hopefully it's a little bit better and a little bit more organized and everything's in the uniform containers as well also too because they have lids so like they won't have like dust or you know dirt or spills anything like that won't get on or in the pictures or anything like that which is also awesome so anyway so let me share with you guys what we got at tony's and Pudos for today and then I'm gonna go get back to working on those photos probably be working on them for the rest of the afternoon today and then um, probably getting this stuff put away either tonight or maybe tomorrow depending so that um we don't have them sitting out all for easter and everything like that but then again too i'll probably have to take them out back again on monday and finish up with whatever i have left so anyway so let me get to the grocery stores for you guys for today for the three different deals we ended up doing at tony's and it looks like it was under 32 dollars because i told you guys the weird receipt now it only tells you the change so my dad paid 32 dollars in cash got 89 cents back so that would have been uh 31 dollars and 11 cents that he ended up paying anyways um like i said because now the receipts are all weird doesn't even say how much you saved or anything like that but i do know that we saved 12 dollars off the powerade and 14.97 on the diet cokes but i don't know based on the retail price of them like what the difference was because i think the powerades retail at more than what they were on sale for and then they also take off the difference of the coupon and stuff like that but with the diet coke those were on sale for 12.99 when you bought three with the digital coupon um i believe it was a limit of three so those ended up being a little over four dollars they were 433 i told you guys though how my mom was out of diet coke last week we actually found one other 12 pack that was left in the back of the uh closet <laughs> so we could have held off getting that deal where they were five dollars last like last week to where they were um four dollars this week and for like i said it's 433 each um which is a little bit of a better deal than 499 which is what we paid last week for them because i thought that she was out and they did have some deals uh jewel also has a deal going on this week again tony's did i also saw that meyer had their 24 pack was 899 so it's about 450 so it's still a little bit cheaper than the deal that i got last week um but like i said i haven't seen a lot of deals on pop or anything like that and because my mom drinks diet coke um we have to make sure that we have those stocked for her and we did not um so that's why last week we had to pay not a great price on them and again too it was only like 66 cents 
difference this week. Although I think Jules has theirs for $3.99, so I'm gonna do a little bit more and probably get uh, two more Diet Cokes and then maybe like a pack of Coke for, or something for everybody else, possibly just so that she's stocked. And then again too, we can hopefully, we'll be stocked up until summer when we'll probably see more sales. So like I said, that wasn't a horrible deal, but then we also ended up doing the Powerades, which were 69 cents each when you bought 15. So my dad ended up picking up 15 and ended up getting them for 69 cents. And that's also with the digital coupon as well. Um, I want to say that that was a limit of two separate offers, I think. And I want to say that the Coke products maybe were a limit of one offer or something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly, but like I said, I just did one of each. Um, you know, the, the offers that were available with the coupons. Um, they also had the Tony's Polish ham that was on sale for $6.88. So, um, or five, it was $5.99 a pound. It was $6.80 for what we ended up paying for that. Um, and then lastly, over at Caputo's, these items were $8.33 for just a couple things um, that my dad ended up picking up. But they had organic baby carrots on sale, $3 for two or $1.50 each. They also had the tomatoes, which were on sale for $0.79 cents a pound. It was a little under a pound for 69 cents and then they also had the eggs which were on sale for 450 for two or two dollars and 25 cents each now i think all these prices somewhere between three dollars two to three dollars so um i figured that again too being on the lower end of two dollars at least i knew that that was what i was going to be paying for them instead of all these price which i'm not entirely sure but i want to say at some point they were up to like 2.99 then i thought they went down to like 250 so if they were even like 199 at least i know it was still i potentially might have ended up paying more than at least what I paid for these which was at 225 and that's only because for Easter Sunday um like for breakfast before we go over to my aunt's house my mom's going to do breakfast and we we're most likely going to use eggs and I think we're a little low in eggs too my mom and Jack do have a lot of like they'll do eggs and stuff like that for breakfast a lot of times my dad will have eggs like boil um like hard boiled eggs and do it in his salad so we do typically go through more eggs more often so again into that was really all that they had going on now tony's did have a couple other like decent sales but there wasn't really anything that i was like super wanting to take advantage of other than kind of these ones i saw as the best deals there were other sales going on too like at jewel this week as well and i wanted to do some of those ones that i thought were a little bit better um but again too jewel doesn't have all that much great stuff i felt like going on either um like i said a handful of things so i'll have that haul for you guys tomorrow but thankfully that is kind of the last thing that i have to do tomorrow and then also make the um the the side dish that I'm bringing for Easter I'm probably going to make it ahead because both the recipes that I was kind of looking up do have make ahead recipe and then you can leave it in the fridge then all you have to do is just like defrost it and then cook it in the oven for a little bit longer than you would so that's what I think I'm going to do on Easter morning is just bake it in the oven and then bring it for Easter like you know and it should hopefully still be warm um if it's not I can probably just warm it up for a little bit but overall um it like I said it should be be good to go hopefully <laughs> um so that is the plan for easter and that's the only thing that i kind of i still have to like do tomorrow but all the things that i had kind of planned out for today got done which is awesome again to these grocery stores we got everything from both of them um and that shopping done like i said just the other shopping that has to get done tomorrow which i'm not looking forward to because normally the day before a holiday is kind of busy although i will say walmart was a little bit more busy but um and we didn't go as early as i originally like i thought we were going to go before noon we went around 12 30 or one o'clock maybe something like that um but it overall wasn't that bad and that busy which I was kind of surprised too because I was like the Friday before like Easter too and like a holiday and stuff like that normally the grocery stores are kind of busy but they weren't that bad so and also my dad seemed to get home really quick from Tony's and Caputo's granted obviously he didn't have that much different stuff to get like when he went in the aisle for the power radius probably in the same aisle for the coke too so um it wasn't all that much that he had to go looking around the store for but like he was home and reasonably like quicker amount of time than he normally is so so, um, maybe it wasn't too bad there either or also too they might have had a lot of extra cashiers on hand um, that doesn't really like matter at Walmart because you pretty much do self checkout they have like one person working the cashier <laughs> the cash register lane um, 
like you know that isn't self checkout but um at tony's and caputo's they might have had extra you know people working just because of the holiday anyway they normally ha tend to have that um at the grocery stores and stuff so anyways though i thought i'd just share with you guys what was going on at those two stores for today and the deals and what we picked up but i'm gonna go get to those pictures and um get this stuff put away real quick well guys i'm gonna go take a shower and get to bed i did end up working on some more photos and i am very close to thankfully being done it's just kind of one section left um and then a little bit of vacation photos and then just like kind of some touch-up stuff like again too i literally got through almost all the photos the 90s photos i was done with them and then all of a sudden i find another like tiny little stack of photos that was like these all say that they're from the 90s on them so now i have some photos i have to go back and add to the ones that have you know are already all sorted and everything but um it makes it easier when they are sorted to just go through and be able to find the ones and where they belong and all that so anyways um got a lot of that stuff done they're all i have three bins um two are full but like one is like partially like halfway full so anyways though um got some good work done today but i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your cinchetti faces tomorrow so bye guys